Here we have two 24 inch golden motor wheelchair motors. They're quite impressive actually. This part here is for mounting onto your wheelchair. You can see that this part here would go along the bottom this part here would go along the bottom part of your wheelchair, the bottom bar, and this would go on the back. So they fit right in the back corner of your wheelchair. Very easy to mount. They have the normal handrail around the outside for your grip. These wheels were actually used in a, in a wheelchair in a, in a movie from Morgan Freeman. I was actually uh, quite impressed with the fact that they used our product. Uh, the one thing about these is uh, the setup is so simple it's almost beyond belief. Maybe that's why Golden Motor doesn't provide a lot of documentation, I don't know. But anyway, these are marked clearly, left and right. There's your input from your battery. So you have three plugs on the controller here. It's very simple. The controller has uh, buttons for forward, reverse, and a horn, what have you. So to plug these in, you just take the, uh, the one that says left, and on the back of the motor it's marked. This one's right, that one's left. So I'll plug this one into the left one. That's that. Plug this into the right one. That's that. Now the motors are hooked up to the controller. It's as simple as that. Now we have another cable here for the battery. I have a golden motor, 24 volt, 20 amp battery. You would go a long way on a wheelchair with this battery. And this battery simply plugs in right here. Let's get this the right way. I think it's upside down. There we go. So there we go, three plugs. Each wheel's plugged in, the battery's plugged in. Turn the battery on. On the controller, there's a power button here. You push it. You've now got lights on the controller. And if you can see up here, you'll see some rotation there when I move this stick. You can see that the motors will go according to what is pushed on here. And this controller, you also have a horn and an off button, of course. I think the plus and minus is for speed. I'm not sure. I haven't actually tried this. And there's a plug on the back. You can buy a programming module to program this thing for various reasons, which I'm not even sure of. But I assume it's in case one wheel goes faster than the other or what have you. It's 99% uh, of the time I would say it's probably un unnecessary to have a programming module. But if you have some problems, it's always available. And that's it. It's a very simple setup. Gary Sallow, Golden Motor Canada.